Hey everyone, Zachary Strife here. Uh, the game you're looking at right now is MechWarrior Online. It is currently in beta and it is free to play. Uh, what I'm going to do here is run the current mechs that I have and possibly do tutorials and stuff for you guys. But uh, the one I'm running right now, I conveniently called the Boomstick. Um, the current coinage for it, I guess, is the Catapult, or I'm sorry, the Splatapult or the Splatacat. Um, it's a catapult equipped with six SRM six loaded with a whole hell of a ton of ammo and I might not be getting a match that's interesting oh here we go all right forest colony snow very good map to to this map or this do this mech um so the way the catapult works is it's it's a hunter mech it's not really a brawler it's not a sniper, it's a hunter. What you do is you want to try to catch people off guard, and this mech is actually pretty damn hard to run, because uh, you can either get a really good game, or you can suck butt, because this mech is very light on armor. So, let's get going here. Now this is the first recording I've done uh, since my build, so if the quality is not there, I apologize. I still have some tweaks to do here and there, but uh, looks like we have a pretty assault heavy team. Stay with ECM. Uh, who's got the ECM? One Atlas is not moving. Okay, well, forget that. This mech doesn't stay with other teammates. Uh, what you try to do is you try to run around and catch people off guard and literally just hunt people, single them out. And it's really fun if you can get a good game. Hopefully I get a decent one here. <clears throat> now I, I like to kind of slow down here and check my, uh, my surroundings. Heat vision is a really good way to spot people. Um, I zoom in like this and uh, hit the heat vision so you can see where people are at and that guy's just sitting there taking missiles like an idiot all right um, the general route I like to go is behind this ship or through the ship uh, if there's people on this side I'll, I'll be lining back and try to hit the cave on the other side but so far it looks like there's no one really out here yeah there's a few people out there Oh, what was that? Warning, incoming missile. What the hell? Warning, I didn't get targeted yet. Now am I got incoming Acquired. missiles? Alright, that guy luckily shot the mountain so I didn't get any of that. Oh, he's focused on the other guy. Oh shit, can I get behind him? This is what you want to do, guys. Try to get behind people and just blow the hell out of the, the rear of them. <laughs> Boom, bitch! Oh, hell yeah. Must have got an ammo explosion on that one. But <laughs> literally, like, destroyed everything as soon as I got there. New Holy crap. Acquired. So far, I'm enjoying this match. Let's see, there's a guy up here. And also, you have to keep an eye on your radar Acquired. pretty constantly. Uh, there's a guy down Warning. there. Targeted. Oh, that guy's coming at me. Okay. Oh! Yep, I hit his arm. Um, with this specific build, you can shoot up or down pretty easily. So use that to your advantage. And that guy is shooting me with close range missiles. Let's see if I can get this guy. Come on. Stop running, bitch. Come here. Come here. Stop. Alright, this guy's an idiot because if you look, he's running PPCs. Uh, there's a minimum range on the PPCs so he wasn't actually doing much damage to me there and we took him out so let's go after this guy help the little raven out here and you guys have to remember I've oh, hold on. oh sucker I've been playing this game quite a bit so uh, I kinda know where to go and what to do where people are weak generally you want to aim for the back but this guy's got some armor on his back, so I just gotta focus on center here. Dang. This guy's got some armor armor on him. There we go. 
And usually, since this Raven is here, uh, I could. S oh, he's not ECM Raven. That's weird. I was losing locks somehow then. Um, but yeah, with with this with this mech, you want to keep moving. Movement is your your friend here. <clears throat> See if I can help Cap Epsilon. Ooh, wait. That guy's kind of close. Eh, he's already getting beat up, though. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. New target acquired. Oh, oh. I probably should go after that stalker. The trick with this guy is to get in very close so you can concentrate your, your damage. Yeah, that guy's too far. Go for the stalker. And generally you want to ignore the lights. If you see a, a assault or a heavy, go for them first. And just like that, I go for the rear again. And dead. So, you can see this guy is fairly accurate. Oh, fuck yeah. I actually led that shot pretty well there. And the match is already done. Damn. I can't wait to see how much damage it did. Holy shit. I did some good damage there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. 1,262. I'm the top of the team. Five kills. Damn, guys. Two disconnects? If there was two disconnects, then I killed the entire team pretty much. Because, uh... Everything I killed was moving, noob. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna go to the mech lab and show you guys how my mech is built, and I will see you there momentarily. All right, guys. We're back at the launcher, and I will show you the build on the boomstick. Let's see. Go to the loadout here. All right. So right off the bat. I'm running ferrofibrous and endo steel for upgrades. Uh, that's very important because it allows you to put in the bigger standard 300 engine. Um, let's just start with the uh, right side of the mech here. You can see I have three six packs, and that's it in the arm. And then nothing in the torso, nothing in the head, nothing in the other torso. Oh, sorry, one double heat sink in the torso because I can fit it there. Uh, I've been tweaking this mech quite a bit, so, I mean, you get you get your heat sinks where you can get them. And the other arm is three more SRM6 and some ammo. And some people say don't put the ammo in the arm, but I'd rather not have the explosion in my center torso. Um, and then the, or sorry, the explosion in the side torsos. The center torso does have ammo, because this is your biggest armored piece. Uh, like I said, running the standard 300, which is pretty fast. You can see I'm going about 75 kph, which is pretty quick in this game. And then I have the legs packed with armor, or ammo. <laughs> ammo. So, go quickly through that again. Three six packs, nothing, nothing, one double heat sink, three six pack, and ammo, standard engine, and two ammo, and f two more ammo in each leg. And then for the armor, I'll just say it real quick. The head is 15, center torso 35, center torso rear 18, right torso 35, right torso rear 18, left torso 35, left torso rear 18, right arm 39, left arm 39, right leg 26, left leg 26. So yes, this is a very lightly armored mech. I can take a few hits in the front, but nothing substantial. And I have the, like I said already, I have endosteel and ferrofibrous, as well as double heat sinks. So that's the build. I will link my build through Smurfy, Smurfy.net. Uh, so the link will be in the description for my boomstick. And just remember, guys, this mech can win or lose hard. So I got lucky and got a good run. And someone's trying to talk to me on social, so I'll get to that now. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and the links will be in the description for the mech and the website for MechWarrior Online. So I hope you guys enjoy this and come back for more, because I'll probably be doing the rest of my builds. This is Zachary Strife, and I am a barely adequate gamer.